Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have x plus y equals 2 and x y equals 1 over 2. So here we find the value of x and y. So uh, first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. Okay, so now first we focus on equation number 1. Uh, and equation number 1 here uh, we move this x to the right hand side. Uh, we write it here equation number one is implies that uh, y is equals to 2 minus x because we move this x to the right hand side and we call this is our equation number three and uh, in the next step <clears throat> here we uh, need to just substitute this value of y in equation number two uh, so that our equation number two is implies that this is x y and we have the value of y is 2 minus x is equals to 1 over 2. And now in the next step you see here we multiply this x on both of these terms and it will be written as 2x minus x squared equals to 1 over 2. And now we move these two values to the right hand side and it will be written as when we move this minus x square to the right hand side it will becomes plus x square this plus 2x becomes minus 2x and this is plus 1 over 2 equals to 0. Now you see here this equation will becomes quadratic in x variable so that here we use the nice quadratic formula in order to solve this uh, quadratic equation so that here we write the coefficients of this equation and the value of a is 1 or the coefficient of x square is 1 coefficient of x is minus 2 and the coefficient of uh, other than x is 1 over 2 and we know about the quadratic formula it is stated as x equals minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our nice quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a b and c in this quadratic formula so it will be written as x equals minus b the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1 over 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step you see here uh, we have x equals this is minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus square root of minus 2 square equals to 4 so you see here this 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and minus 2 uh, times of 1 becomes minus 2 and it is divided by 2 and now in the next step here we need uh, more simplifications and we write it as x equals 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 2 becomes 2 and it is divided by 2 so here when we uh, break this fraction it will be written as 2 over 2 plus minus square root of 2 divided by 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by these two and we have finally we have the values of x are 1 plus minus square root of 2 divided by 2 so these are the two values of x and now we find the values of y corresponding to these values of x so here first we break these values and first we write the positive value it is 1 plus square root of 2 divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is 1 minus square root of 2 it is divided by 2 so these are the two values of x and here we need our equation number 3 so that <coughs> equation number 3 is implies that uh, it is y equals to minus x so we call this is our equation number three and now we substitute uh, above both values of x here and now first we put the positive value here it will be written as uh, y equals to minus x and the value of x is one plus square root of two divided by two 
here we put this value of x and it will be written as y equals uh, 2 minus x and the value of x is 1 minus square root of 2 is divided by 2 okay so now we substitute both uh, of these two values here uh, and now we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms so this is 1 plus square root of 2 over 2 uh, it's look like in this form okay so we have y equals 2 minus 1 minus square root of 2 is divided by 2 similarly in that case we have 2 minus 1 plus square root of 2 is divided by 2 here we need some simplification and we get the value of y is 1 minus square root of 2 is divided by 2 and in that case we have a 1 plus square root of 2 is divided by 2 okay so finally we have the two solutions of the given equation are x y equals uh, so the first solution is the value of x is 1 plus square root of 2 divided by 2 and corresponding to this value of x we get the value of y is 1 minus square root of 2 divided by 2 and similarly in the second case the uh, first value of x is 1 minus square root of 2 over 2 and the corresponding value of y is 1 plus square root of 2 divided by 2. So here we have these are the two solutions of the given equation. And now the time to verify uh, these solutions. Is the solutions satisfied our given question statement or not? So here I can just verify the one solution and I can left the other solution for up to you. You can uh, do yourself uh, so here first uh, we copy down the given equation so first equation is x plus y equals 2 and the second equation is x y equals 1 over 2 so now we substitute the value of x and y here so here uh, i can just verify the first solution okay this solution so now we substitute our x equals 1 plus k root of 2 over 2 it will be written as 1 plus square root of 2 over 2 plus the value of y is 1 minus square root of 2 over 2 equals 2. So here first we simplify these terms. So you get this is positive and negative are gone and 1 plus 1 is 2 equals 2. Okay. So uh, this shows that the first solution satisfied our first equation. And now we move towards our second equation. So here you have x, y. The value of x is 1 plus square root of 2 over 2. The value of y is 1 minus square root of 2 over 2 equals 1 over 2. And now here you see that it is a plus b into a minus b square identity. So here we apply that identity and we write it as 1 squared minus square root of 2 and its whole squared equals 1 over 2 uh, so you see here 1 squared equals 1 minus a uh, square root of 2 square equals 2 and 2 square equals 4 and this whole equal 1 over 2 so this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get 1 minus 1 over 2 equals to 1 over 2 and when we take the LCM of this term then you get 1 over 2 equals to 1 over 2 this shows that uh, the first solution uh, also satisfied the second equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos